Today, most of the forests in Banff National Park are dominated by these older spruce and these pine trees. But is that the way it's always been? One of the ways that we can determine whether our forests are healthy is to look at what kinds of forests that were here in the past. And we're lucky enough that we actually have some photographs from the 1920s that gave us a good sense of what the area was like right around Johnson Lake. In this picture over here, taken in 1923, you can see just how much lighter this area is compared to the same picture taken in 1985. A much darker, more dense forest is, more, is obvious in that picture. So what would have dominated this forest in 1923 would have been a forest that looks a lot more like this. Aspen trees really are incredible things. They're some of the only deciduous trees that we have growing here in the Rockies. And one of the things that allows them to survive throughout the winter is the fact that their bark photosynthesizes. It means it's able to actually transform sunlight into sugars all year long. If we look just up past the elk scars here, this is the typical kind of bark you would see on an aspen tree. And the reason why all these scars are here is because the elk have gone in here and eaten it. And they've eaten it because it's so nutritious. So they come in here and sometimes it's with their bottom teeth, they'll get in and they'll scrape their teeth along and eat some of the bark off and you can see it peeling here. Other times they'll come in with their antlers, which they grow a new set every year, and that velvet gets itchy on there. So they come in here with their antlers and they drag their antlers up and down, which is why most of the trees that you see around here are scarred like this. Now, with respect to fire, one of the interesting things that we've learned about these elk scars is that these are actually helping to protect the tree. Typically, an aspen tree will only live between 60 and 120 years, and then it'll die. But with this scarring on the bottom, these trees have been able to sustain themselves through some fires. The real key to an aspen survival is down here, underneath the grasses and then underneath the soil, there's an incredible root system. And this root system can be thousands of years old. So typically what happens is that a fire will move through an area, it will kill off these trees, and then you get hundreds and hundreds of suckers, little clones of these trees coming up as a result of that fire. Because the fire lays down incredibly rich nutrients into the soil and creates ideal growing conditions for those young aspen. Without fire, these trees really can't thrive.